Welcome to Itsrafi. In today's video, we are going to do quick revision of class 10 computer science. At first, we'll have uh, chapter 1, which is about networking. In networking, you will see different types of network. And in different types of network, you will get mainly PAN, LAN, MAN, and WAN. And also, we can categorize the network based on wired and wireless. In wired, we will get coke, oxyl, twisted pair, fiber optics. In wireless, we will get Bluetooth, Wi Fi, satellite, etc. And you will see the, how we can uniquely identify the devices in a network. There, we will get MAC address, IP addresses, host name, different networking commands, etc. These things you will see for chapter 1 and even uh, the size of MAC address OUI, IPv4 and IPv6 these addresses you will see for chapter 1. After that we will come for chapter 2 which is uh, not chapter 2 sorry chapter 4 which is loop. In loop first we will see what is a loop the repetition of same in statement for specific specific number of time is known as loop. There are two main type of loop entry control and exit control and in C programming it support three loops while loop, do while loop and for loop. From here while and for are entry controlled and do while is exit control. Now what is entry control and exit control? In entry control we can We use entry control loop when we know how many times the loop will repeat. And we can use exit control loop when we do not know how many times the loop will run. And you will also see the structure of for loop, while loop, do while loop and also structure of nested for loop or nested while loop. Now how can you write the structure of nested while loop? For nested while loop, first you will write while, then in bracket the conditions, after that, here you will write another while loop, here again condition, again inside the while loop some statements. and we will close the first while loop and inside second while loop we will put some more statement and we will close the bracket this is the structure or format of nested while loop. and also you will see some programs from the chapter 1 like a uh, write a program to find whether a number is prime or not write a program to check the summation of the digit of a number write a program to find the summation of first 10 natural numbers like that program you can practice for practical as well as theory exams and from the chapter 4 mostly we will see this question what is a loop why do we use loop name different types of loops that you will write while loop, do while loop and for loop and difference between while loop and do while loop that one you will write this way like while loop is entry control loop, do while is exit control in while we check the condition at beginning, in do while we check the condition at end in while loop if the condition is false the loop does not execute and in do while even if the condition is false it can execute at least once after that one more thing here you have to remember the uses of break statement the break statement it allow to exit from a loop suppose I have written a loop which can execute 10 times but in between we have to exit from the loop so at that moment we can use break statement and one more is there continue statement there we can skip some specific steps from the particular loop so this is for chapter 4 
After that comes chapter 5. Chapter 4 and 5, their programs are almost same, pattern programs. In, if we are going to do method of chapter 4, the programs will be a little longer and if we are going to use method of chapter 4, the programs will be shorter. So it's depend on you what uh, chapters code you will use. In chapter 5, the topic is nested loop. In nested loop, we will use mainly, here comes mainly what is nested loop and one more important thing outer loop and inner loop here outer means the loop which contain another loop this is outer and inner the loop which written inside some other loop this is called inner loop suppose I have two loops this loop one in this is the first loop loop one inside loop one I have written another loop loop two and inside loop 2 we have some statement here loop 2 closed and here have some statement for loop 1 and here loop 1 closed so in this program the loop 2 we know as inner loop because it's written inside some other loop and loop 1 which contains some other loop it is known as outer loop so this one remember it comes also write the syntax or give an example for that you can give this example for outer and inner loop or the syntax so from chapter from chapter 6 sorry 5 these questions are important what is nested loop why do we use nested loop and what is outer loop what is inner loop write the format of nested for loop or write the format of nested while loop and after that comes uh, write the three parts of a for loop which is very much important the first part is initialization second part is test condition and third part is update expression sometime also it may come like that what is the first expression of a for loop that will be initialization and also may ask what is the last expression of a for loop that will be update expression and from chapter 5 programs mainly the patterns the pattern will be like uh, this pattern these are the most important one this triangular pattern this triangular pattern and one more pattern this one one two three one one like one two one two three one two three four 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and one more programs it is uh, this one triangular pyramid it will be like here the one will be at center after it 1, 2, 1 again 1, 2, 3 Two, one. This program is also very much important for your examination. For, for nested loop uh, chapter, these programs are important. You can see for your examination purposes. Okay. After that comes chapter six, which is a uh, little complicated. Means who are very new to the programming, who skipped the C programming chapter in class 9 or who didn't understood anything from chapter 1 and 2 oh sorry chapter 4 and 5 for them array chapter will be little difficult because to understand the program that use arrays we have to use loop or nested loop so this is very much important to, to understand chapter 4 and 5 to understand this chapter and in this chapter chapter the main questions are like what is an array these topics are mainly important array array index i have already given the answer some other videos you can go through that video and see then base address of an array then index or index these are same index or index 
the relative position of the array element is known as indice or index and elements these are important in point of array and also the merits and demerits of an array in merits we can write these points like uh, we can store multiple values inside a single variable and demerits these already added in book three points are there that you can write like continuous memory location fixed size and homogeneous type of data this comes under demerits so these things you can see from the array chapter and for programs you will see specially chapters uh, the program which are included in chapter and the program which are included in book examples and also you have to see flowchart that one you will see specially from chapter 4 and 5 for flowchart you will see some of the digit of a number okay now we'll come to the chapter now we'll come to chapter 7 in chapter 7, the chapter name is functions, function in C. Here, you will mainly see these topics, what is function, type of function, then type of function, here you will get two types user defined and library user defined the function which is written by the user and library which are all already included inside the c header file and after that parts of a function this uh, here comes definition and declaration call and definition this one you will also see the program which is included in your book that uh, sum of two numbers so these things you will see from the function chapter and also one more thing you will see from the function that one uh, void function void function void function means a function which does not return anything this is known as function by default function can return at least one value uh, sorry a function can return only one value and if the function return doesn't return anything we have to write return zero if the return type of the function is integer or float okay and also you will have to see from this chapter global variable the variable which are declared inside outside the bracket these are known as global variable okay and recursive function and caller and callee function this question these questions are important in point of your uh, in point of examination and here uh, for programs you will see these two programs mainly uh, write a c program to add two numbers using function and write a c program to find a square of a number using function these two are mainly important and some other programs are there that one uh, factorial of a number in example it's already there that one also you can see so i hope these things are necessary for your examination you have to know these things you have to know the basics of uh, the chapters then easily you can write the answers and also go through the chapters read some sp small small parts like in function chapter one more thing is there string see about that also and also one new thing comes null value so these things you will see from chapter 7 i hope uh, you got the idea what you have to study for tomorrow's examination thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye